guys are going to get a really exciting opportunity to hear two legends discuss the history of visual effects and how it's impacted television. And as anyone here knows, Lightwave has been at the forefront of science fiction visual effects with Babylon 5, with Sequest, and leading up to the newer shows like V, Caprica, and Battlestar Galactica. So I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Van Dyke and Mr. Shatner. Take it away, guys. I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Van Dyke. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm what's left of Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> That's a great line. Now I'm a grandpa, great-grandpa, a computer nerd, and a dirty old man, and having a good time doing it. <laughs> uh, we don't know what we're supposed to talk about. I guess question, I'm a light wave uh, idiot. I started, you guys remember the uh, toaster? With the Amiga? I started out with the Amiga toaster like 20 years ago. Remember, you'd, you'd start rendering 15 frames on Friday night, and it'd be ready Monday morning. And now, I, I, the thing about Lightwave is, I think it's the most user-friendly of uh, any of the programs out there. And more and more uh, of the movies, of course, you see it everywhere now. Cameron used it in Avatar. Avatar will be the benchmark for many years to come. And we all, uh, all of the people here, I assume, know what was going on there in terms of the technology. They were just showing me the new uh, uh, Lightwave 10. All you, you just, if it's, if it's running, you hit pause, instantly you get a full render right then and there on, on that frame. It's not believable. I can't wait to get, I can't wait to get all the toys in this place. It's full of toys. <laughs> I know nothing. I have no idea what you're talking about. You hit a button and it stops, you can't wait to get into it. I mean, that doesn't sound pornographic to me. It's very simple. You start here, you click, you go 15 frames, you go here, keyframe, and it, that's about All right, it. so what are you putting in the frame? 3D characters. You, you do oh. motion, motion capture, but it, it's user-friendly, but it's kind of a funny dichotomy because it is also so deep that all these years I still don't understand a lot of it. It's, the program just keeps getting deeper and deeper. Uh, it's, uh, you should see some of the good porno I've done. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're an expert on sci-fi, though. I thought you were going to sound porno. <laughs> uh, no. um, I'm here because uh, on Friday night, we launched uh, My Outer Space, a website that's uh, user-friendly for science fiction. And we had a great time with all the... Uh, wonderful, interesting people who uh, came on and became part of this website, which I hope all of you will uh, look at and contribute to, because it's you people that we want on My Outer Space to talk to these uh, millions of people that have hit on My Outer Space. To t and 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 uh, on the way over here, I was talking to Dick about it. He he'll come on and talk about Lightwave and. Uh, and uh, we'll all have a good time on My Outer Space, because that's what it's designed to do. That's great. How, how many hits did you have? Well, well, Sammy Aridi, my partner, and I have been working on it for about two years. And one day, and we have a third partner, and, and one day we said, you know, we should launch this thing. And I remember something about somebody saying they Twittered once and something good happened. I've forgotten what it was. And I said, I'm going to Twitter it. And I said on my Twitter to the audience at large, whoever was going to read the Twitter, you guys should watch My Outer Space. Six weeks later, 12 million hits. It's in the top 1% of the websites in the world, and it's lying there fallow, waiting for all of us to contribute to show the world what we're doing, because there's a whole technical, we've divided it into six entities, uh, each of them are spaceships, and they all have their captains, which is the director, and then there are the planets, which have uh, special effects and music and that kind of thing. So that's how we've divided it up. Well, on the special effects planet, we want you guys to come in there and talk about what you're doing and what your questions are, and, and have people like yourself who are fascinated by the, uh, by the technology to come in and talk about what your fascination is and what your questions are. I mean, you could ask the very questions, uh, click, uh, sh chip, chip, click, and E. You could have gotten that. You could have gotten that on my, <laughs> on my own. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs>